Welcome to Hyper Automation in the Cloud with Power Automate. My name is Steven Siciliano, Vice President of Power Automate. And joining me today is Christy Jeffson, Director of Product Management for RPA. We've got a great agenda for this session. Not only will we showcase some of our latest innovations, but we'll also look at how you can establish an automation practice that seamlessly scales productivity across your enterprise. Over the past six years, Power Automate has continued to make an impact on millions around the globe. Over 500,000 organizations have adopted Power Automate, and they're experiencing automation positively changing the way that they work, opening opportunities to refocus their attention where it's needed most. And these organizations come in all sorts of sizes, such as T-Mobile, who used RPA and Power Automate to integrate systems during the Sprint merger, and the Seattle Visiting Nurse Association, a family-owned healthcare business who streamlined communication to patients and automated parts of their billing process. And Power Automate has captured analysts' attention as well. Microsoft was recently named a leader in the 2022 Gartner Magic Quadrant for Robotic Process Automation, RPA. And earlier this year, we were named a leader in the Forrester Wave Digital Process Automation Software, Q4 2021. From our out-of-the-box inclusion in Windows 11, a large and motivated partner community ready to drive mass adoption and auto-scaling unattended RPA in the cloud, Power Automate is here to help you succeed. But it doesn't stop there. Power Automate is part of the Microsoft Power Platform, a cloud-first suite of business applications that, when used together, help enable a practice known as hyper-automation. Gartner defines hyper-automation as a business-driven, disciplined approach that organizations use to rapidly identify, vet, and automate as many businesses and IT processes as possible. And it involves the orchestrated use of multiple technologies, tools, or platforms. With Power Platform, you can keep your hyper-automation practice centralized with a single portfolio of low-code and pro-ready tools that work and flow seamlessly together, built on Microsoft security and trust. And with Power Automate being the connection between your data and user experiences, regardless of if they have APIs or not, seamlessly scaling hyper-automation across the cloud is achievable. From the maker experience all the way to how you govern, we've launched new ways to help you succeed. Let's take a closer look. First, let's talk about the maker experience. Power Automate's low-code, drag-and-drop designers have made it possible for anyone to automate and are still powerful enough for coders to build advanced solutions. And we're making this experience even easier. Now, you can describe what you want to automate in a sentence, and AI will build your flow in seconds. No endless searching or guesswork. Just describe it and let Power Automate work its magic. The implementation relies on OpenAI Codex, an AI model descendant of GPT-3 that can translate natural language to code. In this case, Power Automate Cloudflows. This is the same technology behind GitHub Copilot and Power Apps Ideas. Let's take a look at a scenario that shows you how this works. AdventureWorks Cycles is a bicycle manufacturing distributor. David Bailiou is a quality manager at the company and wants to stay on top of the feedback from his customers. He has added a Microsoft Form survey on the company website so customers can share their feedback. Every time there's a new response, David wants it stored in a SharePoint list. He wants to jump on any negative feedback, so if anybody answers very dissatisfied in the survey, a message notification will be sent immediately to a Teams channel. Well, great news, David. Power Automate has you covered. In the Create page for Power Automate, we now have a new option to create a Cloudflow. You describe it, AI builds it. Let's go ahead and select it. With this new option, creating a flow is just as easy as describing what you want to automate in your own words. Instead of figuring out how to create the flow, I just describe it. When someone responds to my survey, store the responses in a SharePoint list. If someone responds very dissatisfied, send a message in Teams, and then I hit Enter. We get back a suggested flow for what we're looking to automate. A preview gives me an idea of what the flow will do for me. This looks good. The hard part is over. 
Now I just need to configure the connection info to the different applications involved in this automation and fill the details, such as the name of the Microsoft form, the SharePoint address, and the Teams channel. And there you have it, a true no-code experience with the power of artificial intelligence. Knowing which four actions to stitch together, as you see here, may not be intuitive for everyone, but describing what they want is a lot simpler. We can further customize it if we want, and then save it. Pretty cool, right? At launch, we're supporting key Microsoft 365 apps and services, and in the coming months, we'll be expanding this to cover even more of your favorite connectors. Now, let me show you another feature we've worked on to help writing expressions even easier. Often, unless you've taken the time to learn, writing expressions to work with your data in specific ways can be daunting. Well, now we're adding a new element to this process by leveraging AI to reshape the data you need how you need it. Like what's been done with Power Apps Ideas, we're bringing this similar experience to Power Automate, which is powered by Pros, a technology that enables programming by example, built by Microsoft Research, and that is the same technology behind Flashfill in Excel. To see how this works, let's go back to that previous scenario. David's automation is running exactly as planned. However, David would like to change the format of the date shown on the Microsoft Teams message. This requires using an expression in Power Automate. Expressions are a powerful way to do operations over data, but there's a steep learning curve. Now, we've made it super simple for users like David to format data by examples. Let me show you. Back to our flow, I go to the Teams action and select the new option Format Data by Examples on the Expression menu. The first thing to do is to select the item I want to change its format, in this case, the submission time for the Microsoft Forms survey. Next, I enter an example of how the submission time is returned by default. And then, how we'll like it to be formatted. That's all. I then select Get Expression and Power Automate returns the expression that will do this transformation. I didn't have to learn about the different functions in the Power Automate expression language. We can then test it and verify it with another date value that this expression does what we're looking for. We apply it to our flow, and there we have it. The date will now be written in the format we want. Next time the automation flow runs and a message is posted on Teams, the data is written the way we want it. These AI-driven experiences are truly revolutionary. By simply talking like a human, Power Automate can understand what you want to automate and will do the heavy lifting. We're excited to launch these features in preview, and we're looking forward to hearing your feedback. Next, let me pass it over to Christy. Thanks, Stephen. As we know, one of the top scenarios that lends itself to automation is working with Excel, where we're commonly working on manual, cumbersome, repetitive tasks like data entry, data management, and reporting. Now we're pleased to share that we're integrating Power Automate natively into Excel Online, letting you create custom flows using pre-built templates tailored to what you can accomplish with Excel. As you can see, Excel Online now has an Automate tab in the ribbon. Simply click it and select Power Automate to see the templates that are ready to automate with popular apps such as Microsoft Forms and SharePoint. With this new experience, which is rebuilt from ground up, users who use Excel on a frequent basis can quickly automate what they need without ever leaving where they work. And if you want to do even more with your Excel spreadsheet, be sure to check out this webinar, which talks about how you can use Power Automate and Office Scripts together to take hyper-automation to the next level. These are just some of the ways we're helping people create automation faster and boost productivity. But like we said earlier, hyper-automation is made up of a set of different technologies working together to create greater results. So let's look at another integrated technology, which is part of our Power Platform family, Power Virtual Agents. Earlier this year at Microsoft Build, we shared how you can create and call automated workflows right from the conversational bot experience in Power Virtual Agents and Power Automate. 
a true innovative method for leveraging hyperautomation within your organization by using automation through conversation. Today, we're excited to announce that the intelligent bot authoring experience for Power Virtual Agents will be available in preview starting November 10th. This new experience unifies the sophistication of low-code and pro-code capabilities, which is a fusion of the Azure Bot Framework Composer and Power Virtual Agents bot building experience. Pro-code and low-code users can build together with multi-authoring and commenting capabilities while taking advantage of the latest functionalities such as PowerFX. And with this comes many more scenarios that bring conversational bots into your hyperautomation journey. Whether it's building an engaging adaptive card, showcasing data from Power Automate's over 750 connectors, or manipulating and transforming your data with PowerFX, new horizons for how you communicate with automation have now been unlocked. Again, new and existing users of Power Virtual Agents will have these features automatically turned on starting November 10th. Be sure to follow the Power Virtual Agents blog so you can stay up to date on this new experience. As we just mentioned, over 750 connectors are count and counting are available in Power Automate, spanning both first and third party connectors. In case you missed us at the Microsoft Power Platform Conference in September, we announced the details about our SAP ERP connector that helps bridge the gap between SAP and other systems. Another item we announced builds on top of this connector with a pre-built solution, utilizing Power Platform's low-code tools with Azure Logic Apps. This pre-built solution offers a streamlined view of SAP's ERP core business functions while automating the workflows behind the scenes. To sign up for the public preview and learn more about this exciting advancement in SAP integration, visit this link. We've just seen a lot of incredible features on how you can create automation. Now let's talk a little bit about new ways you can manage your automation. First, we're pleased to share that we have two new solution kits to help manage, govern, and scale your hyper-automation practice. Typically, for any organization to establish a successful automation culture, you need to build an automation center of excellence to maximize the organization's investments and to find guardrails enabling a stronger development of RPA and other hyper-automation scenarios for digital transformation in a controlled manner. We recently launched a public automation kit as an open source GitHub project, helping accelerate your organization's automation based on industry's best practices. This kit has been created from customer feedback from around the globe by those who are already using Power Platform as their choice for hyper automation. To learn more about this new automation kit, visit this link. The second kit we're introducing is based on a key use case that we see across every industry and department approvals. That's why we've now introduced the Business Approvals Kit, a solution that will accelerate creating your approvals, and it's now in preview. The Business Approvals Kit is a no-code, ready-made template built on top of Power Platform components. It allows your organization to configure sophisticated approvals, such as multi-staged approvals and conditional branching approvals all without needing to write a single line of code, empowering every person in your organization to do more with less for your organization's approval needs. To learn more about this business approvals kit, visit this link. While these kits are an excellent way to establish best practices, let's shift to another functionality of Power Automate, and that is built right in and helps you scale automation seamlessly across your enterprise. Today, Power Automate already provides ways for you to bring your own infrastructure for desktop automation, which is commonly known as robotic process automation, or RPA. It's been easy to set up your machines and register them uh, to your Power Automate environments with features like machine direct connectivity and machine groups. And now, with Power Automate's hosted RPA bots in preview, we go one step further by managing your unattended RPA scenarios for you. 
Hosted RPA bots allow you to run unattended RPA at scale fully hosted in the cloud. It's easy to set up your hosted RPA bots. Just provide a few parameters. Just give it a name, max number of parallel bots allocated to this group, which base image and which account you want to use, and you're all set. By default, we provide a Windows image, which is already sufficient for web automation. But if you need more advanced automation with specific desktop applications, you can bring your own VM image through our integration with Azure Compute Galleries. Hosted RPA bots will automatically scale based on your needs. You can now react to any spike in demand. You can optimize your infrastructure cogs to just what's actually needed. Hosted RPA bots also provides a way to share resources among your different automation scenarios. For example, you can have 10 bots shared between two groups. Let's say one for sales and one for finance. The 10 bots could be dynamically assigned to either sales or finance based on the need. We're constantly improving these features. Keep watching Power Automate blog for updates coming soon. You can try hosted RPA bots right now and get two machines with a Power Automate trial. To get started and for more information, visit these links. And with that, back to you, Stephen. Thanks, Christy. This has been an exciting session for us, and we're eager to have you experience it all. To get started, sign into PowerAutomate.com and see for yourself what's possible. And if you've never tried Power Automate before, sign up for our free 90-day trial that gives you full premium capabilities. Lastly, be sure to check out these other great resources from Microsoft Ignite to learn more. Thanks for joining us.